Today we're going to do some stabilization oriented movement, which means we're going to do some movement and the entire focus is going to be on learning the concept and the application of stabilizing, let's say, a particular bone. You've got this whole skeleton and it's made up of all these different bones and we might want to be able to say, I'm going to choose that this particular bone is going to stay in this particular configuration. For example, just watch this one. This is a very basic one that Aero Westerberg first taught me. Got this, these two bones here, ulna, radius, and then we can keep that in exactly that position while we move the hand. So this is stabilized. And we don't stabilize that by thinking, all right, <laughs> I'm going to squeeze my bicep in this particular way and the extensors in this particular way and flexors in that way and the triceps going to have this role or anything like that. All you think about is like, this thing is staying right there. This stuff here is going to stay here while I do that. And if you start noticing that you're kind of like that, you go, no, 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 no. Now that doesn't mean that you tense as hard as you can. It doesn't require tension to do it. It only requires strong intention and conviction that it's going to stay there. Might be a bit awkward at first. You might be like, Duh. but that's okay. Just keep trying. So that one's basic. What I was doing last night, I suddenly did this particular movement, it was just amazing. Um, try to get a basically straight pose. I don't care how you achieve that, um, whether you need to pull yourself up like this or, or whatever, just, just stand there. Try to make a pelvis level and spine straight up. And then, well that relaxed your shoulders too, and then just tip your head to the side, not as if you're stretching your neck, just like you're choosing that you want your head to be down here. You might feel like a ball here. That's not really the focus of the exercise though. So just choose to have your neck like this. Once you do that for the first time, you might need to check back in with your pelvis, with your feet, with your spine, and just check that you haven't kind of like thrown yourself out of alignment, right? So to achieve this part of the movement, we're actually stabilizing all of this, right? And if you're a little bit out, that's okay. And once you're like, yeah, okay, I'm stable, we're gonna keep that position while we move the arms, okay? So it doesn't matter how you move the arms, but you may recall that I did a video on called Comprehensive Arm Movement Tutorial. And every time you just notice that your kind of neck responds to the movement and moves with, with it, just go, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's get back there. So perhaps it would be good to go and watch that if you haven't already because all those movements are what you can basically do in this position. So we're keeping this neck over and we're moving the arms around while stabilizing the entire spine and legs and hips exactly where we want. So remember we said that stabilizing can be considered as keeping a bone exactly where you want it to be. That's what we're doing. And we're moving other things. Now see, the shoulders, the scapula, and all this, all this bone here, all this stuff, right, is connected to your spine via your trapezius. So, you're practicing having 
maintaining a particular position for the bones which are attached via the trapezius to what's moving. Okay, so the trapezius and other muscles as well, of course, um, but definitely very much the trapezius. We're practicing moving the arms all around while this thing stays still. I mean, if it's the chest as well, you know, the chest is attached to the rib cage um, and the sternum, and the sternum and rib cage are attached to the spine. So there's all this movement. Let's just get back into position. There's all this movement taking place. And you know, you're, you're, just say you're going like this, that's pulling on the chest and the trapezius is contracting as well. So there's a force being applied to the central spine, which you know, by right should kind of like pull it into some direction. Like if you, if you really didn't um, think about it, <laughs> you might just go like that because it's connected. Um, but you're going to maintain the position, okay? So you're coordinating as well. Let's just do a few more, and then we'll take this to the next level, right? We're going to go beyond stabilization. So you get this concept, right? You really have to play with this for about 10 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to go through it all. You've got to move your arms around a lot while keeping your head in this sideways position. You can even do something like this. And then you can do it with the other side as well. Right? And then we're going to go to the next level, which is <laughs> going to look pretty funny, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to move our head from left to right like this, just in a rhythmic kind of way. Just, no, no constant frequency kind of way, while moving our arms slowly, but randomly. I'll probably screw this up, honestly, because it's difficult. So th this is coordination. Remember when you used to do this when you were a child, but then like you learned a couple more things that were slightly more complicated, maybe, but then not much else after that. Okay, so let's try it, right? So let's just start doing this. It screws with your head, right? Because you're like, okay, I'm gonna move this like that, and then you, you get this screwed up signal to your brain, to, you, to your neck and that, that's like, okay, I'm gonna move like that. But if you do it in, in a mirror, you can really learn to kind of coordinate what's happening a lot better. And so I'll just demonstrate for 20 seconds. You can see how I can't do it perfectly. But I'll tell you what, I can do it better than I could two days ago. So, once you learn just once you have your first experience with that concept, first just holding a specific position and seeing how you're able to hold it while you do other stuff, and then do like a rhythmic move and do other stuff. You can probably even go more advanced and you know, I'll move my head however I want while I move my arms however I want. Once you learn those concepts, then you can start to apply that to like a lot of the things you do. Like, I was standing before in the mirror, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stand with uh, my legs a bit apart, knees bent a bit, and I'm gonna say my left leg is a bit forward than my right leg. I know you can't see it, but it's just like knees bent, feet this far apart, one's a bit forward, one's a bit back, about this much distance. And then I was like, okay, well, why don't I move my whole torso so that my pelvis remains completely level and my spine remains completely up 
and I was like, oh, well, I'll do this funny hand position as well. My, my, it's like a qigong -y kind of thing where your hand, arms are, palms are facing your face and there's space under your armpits. And I was like, okay, well, I, pro I can't really see what I'm doing right now. The, the viewfinder thing is too small. But like, okay, why don't I maintain this perfect alignment and move side to side and front and back. I'm probably not doing it perfectly, but you would, you would get the idea. Okay, and all that stuff, it, it re restructures the, the tensional configuration of your body. It like teaches you better intramuscular coordination, which is something that Edel, Edel, Edel always says is super important. And if you just start doing that all the time, and you know, you can even, when you're walking, you can go, okay, let me just uh, stabilize this, just experiment with that. I'm not saying that's the perfect way to walk or anything like that, but there's things you can do to just practice and you will develop such better control and stabilization and coordination of your whole body just by just putting, plugging this concept into your operating systems, like a little upgrade in your operating system. Okay, we'd love to hear how this one goes for you. So if you've got comments, post them below and I'll see you in the next one.